but hello and welcome to my shop this is Jim Dedman Sawlogs Plastic Hubs hope you enjoyed today's video uh, we'll be doing something interesting so uh, hang around let's have fun hey, one of the things I want to do with this is turn the OD and I told you a second ago I was going to step away my good friend Tom down the hilltop machine sent me a couple of uh, Luma inserts and if you don't watch Tom's channel down at hilltop I would encourage you to uh, we live old in say 30 35 40 miles of each other and uh, I live on one side of Charlotte and he lives on the other and we've communicated and become fairly decent friends over the years so he shipped me these inserts and He's retired too, so a little younger, but what he was doing, he could get out of work quicker than I could have. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of cleaning up here. I want to establish, I want this to be established round. That's all I'm after is just trying to establish a round surface uh, there's not really a size to what I'm doing what I'm going to do is make coasters so I've got a, bar, a piece of bar stock here that I'm using that I'm going to be using for the, the coasters and I want to make sure it cleans they clean up I mean there's some dings and stuff but yeah that'll work I'm, on, I'm actually going to machine some coasters for Christmas gifts. And uh, so what I'm on, my plan is is to basically uh, turn this so it'll make it slick. And I'll probably, I'm going to actually get one set of my soft jaws out and bore them for this to fit in. So right now, what I'm going to do is turn this up to the everything. Tom just answered me back because I just <laughs> got around to texting him. So, he, I just got around to text him because usually we text and I had just, you know, I mentioned earlier that my mom passed a few days ago and I've been in and out of the shop, in and out of the house. And I just got some shop time for my sanity, and I just don't want to be sitting around. Um, my Chris, and she's the sad part is my fiance Chris, and she's out of town right now. Uh, she had went on a plan to cruise with her sister and my her sister and the niece who graduated from nursing school, and. This was all planned and started, and they had no more got out of town and got on the ship good when they called me a bomb having problems. And so it's just life, you got to deal with it sometimes. And uh, my mother was 93, I know you may have heard me mention it on videos. So uh, she lived a long life, and a really good part is she didn't suffer very long. So. By the time you see this, this will be after Christmas. It'll be several months since she had passed. This video, I'm not going to release it when I do finish it. Because it involves Christmas presents. And this will be a several day process to get started on it. And I'm right now just sort of getting ready. And really what I'm going to do is once I do this, I'm going to turn around and figure out how to get these jaws bored the way I want them. So I could put this mater this material in there, flip it around, turn the other side of it up to the chuck jaws. So I want all this OD trued up and cleaned up, symmetrical. And best way I know, since I'm gonna have to have soft jaws anyway, an insert Tom gave me done real good on this aluminum, and, and it's got a pretty good finish. So this is basically what I'm doing is roughing this in. Harold's not always right. All projects don't always start on the bandsaw. 
but in this case I wanted to get this OD turned first because that's going to be the outside diameter of my, my Christmas presents. And the soft jaws will have the rest. So now all I'm going to do is be sawing up the stock. So it's going to be a while because I'm going to saw up as much as I can. And then we'll start machining on it later. So this is the first pieces of it. And we will go ahead and shut the camera off and call it a, uh, uh, you won't be much else to do today. Alright, what I want to show you is my setup for showing short bars. Now what I did here is I set the saw up and I got a bit of a crooked bar here so that's going to go a little bit more to give me some extra stock now I'm on this. Alright, so what I have is to make sure, uh, see I've got an issue so let me get right back with you. Oh, well, I'll just show you. What you try to do is you try to set this up to where you can move the bar at one time. And I've tried to set this up so that I grab it on the edge. There. So, and then you want to put your part there and make sure you've got enough distance. And that's the key to doing any of this work to make sure you got enough so when you get ready to do the facing jobs these sleds sometimes it's not quite as accurate and it looks like it's it's either crooked in the sled or the saw's going to saw a bit crooked because we're way above it so to allow us enough stock to make sure we clean up Everything else I got saw is going to be on short stuff today. So. so, what you're trying to do is allow a little bit there. You know, that's kind of the philosophy here. And get your stop set. So, you don't have to constantly do this, obviously. So, there's, yeah. So, now basically, all I'm going to do is just tighten the saw up. Started with the short pieces so hopefully I can get this next piece without having to do it so the clamp works really good but this lets you get these parts especially like this one where you see I sawed all this basically I turned these parts ahead of time you'll see that in the video and what I'm doing is using soft jaws to machine them to make this all work so that's where we add on all that so here we go. Okay, just in case you don't really know what I'm making, I'm making coasters. Uh, that's what I'm actually making. And these are Christmas presents. And you will not see this video, but I'm working on them. Uh, right now, it's basically almost the end of October to November. And we finally begin to get a little bit of fall. Uh, so.
and test shop sort of cold this morning. I actually came out here this morning earlier, uh, probably uh, seven o'clock. It's approximately nine now, and turned electric heater on so it would be comfortable in here to work. Uh, I may end up going back and getting me a long sleeve shirt, but we're gonna try it. See how it is. Uh, I've been in the house on the phones, my fiance and. Uh, few other things so what we're going to do this morning is let me bring you up the speed where we're at before I start cutting basically you've seen me turn these blanks in one long slug and then we sawed them to the length that I'm gonna face them to this is why I bored the soft jaw so I could have an OD to work with and I had the OD finished so what I'm going to do in this first series that you're going to see is what I'm going to do right now is face, set up and face one side of the parts and then reset the stop to finish the parts. And I, with using the work stop and setting this up, once I get these to clean up, then I can go through the whole series of parts. I'm not going to do one piece and flip it. Now, I have three or four I've done, mainly while I was sawing yesterday to get the saw set up. So let's see if I've got a, enough off of this to clean up. And the one thing I will tell you, by using soft jaws like I'm using, I'm going to be able to not be particularly high I put them because the jaws are bored and they're true. And that's all that really matters. And if you'll notice when I set these up, so I've got my jaws contained inside the part and also to get better travel and grip. It's always something important to remember when you bore your soft jaws. There would be a video that's probably going to be way out before this. In fact, I'm actually saving it in the house as, I, as we speak. Because um, it's going to be... The, I'm not chamfering them right now. There's not that much of a sharp edge on them. So now I've got a nice slick finish. See, what I'm wanting to do... I'm kind of doing this as a production job in stages. So now I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and face the rest of these off. Okay, now I've set up on the second side of these, and it's because I've got a, a fairly good many to do. I've actually got enough. See, I got enough to, I've got actually more than enough. I've got enough that I'm going to make three sets. I've got 12, I'm making actually 12 of these, which is for three sets of four of coasters. So the plan was, I went ahead and cut the stock up, and I may end up, I ain't counting them, but I think I've probably got 16. I don't have quite, I don't have quite 16, I don't think. Uh, <clears throat> so I don't think I got enough for four sets. Four fours would be 16. And I've got some, so if I make any mistakes in the internal machining, that that'll be there. Now, the, I'm using a plastic toaster that I have. It's a kind of a guide to, to basically get the basic shape I'm looking for. So, I'm doing this in steps. The OD wasn't important. I mean, it's important enough to be close to the right size. So basically what I did is I cleaned up, you know, the part earlier, then I've sawed it, now I'm facing them. So when this one's faced here, I've already, I took the narrowest one I had, and I'm still going to be about 20 thousandths larger than I have here. So, it's imperative to get these within a couple of thousandths because of the way I'm making them. In a, in a production like step. Now see, I'm not breaking the edges for obvious reasons. 
So right here, you see, I still got some cleanup issues on this one. And that's why I allowed myself an extra 20 thousandths. So what I'm going to have to do here, actually, one side of this, and I may leave this. I don't know yet. I'm going to clean them. So I'd set this. So now I'm going to go back in. This is the first one that I've sawed. It's the narrower ones. And I set it up. I actually had one that already had finished, but it had dirt on it, and we cut it down. So, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me cut the camera off. I'll bring you, re-aim it for you. Now, I have the indicator set. Uh, you know, I love these little Shars indicators. So, what I'm doing is I'm, lo I'm loosening up my work stop here. And then I'm going to just take an extra 10,000 so it's still going to give me and then we're going to machine that so there's no use you watching me machine it so but that's kind of the way I'm adjusting it so this is just one of them little shores indicators you know you see uh, our mounts and that's an inch one so okay I'm gonna go ahead and reface this part now take about Ten thou off, and hopefully it'll clean up. Hopefully I don't have to go back again. <clears throat> now that might be a problem. I may run into this and have to go back. You know, I could uh, theoretically it might be the smart thing to do. Just go ahead and shoot for the half inch and be done with it. But I want them a hair bit thicker than a half inch. So once I settle on the size, I'm going to have to go back. I want everything to be consistent. There's, that way when I go to, see, when I put them in to, to put the inside release in, it'll be a lot more consistent. So I'm not going to bore you, but you can, you can see it's facing. I hope you enjoyed the video so uh, let's put a disclaimer out of the way this video is my idea how to do things it's not uh, uh, the only way so I hope you enjoyed it today the other thing comments are always welcome please take the time if you feel so inclined to make a comment on my videos also I appreciate all my subscribers the new ones and the new ones and finally the other disclaimer this is a copyrighted production of James Dedman, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs, for your enjoyment on YouTube. Thank you, have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.